Hey, this is Russ. Time for another knee patient. Yeah, we are now up to patient 15F. Yeah. So anyways, uh, she uh, has written me some information and I'm going to read that to you. And as usual, I'm just going to look off camera. So here's what she says. She says, uh, I'm a 69 year old female from Ohio. When I worked, I did the job a man would do at a newspaper printing company, lifting heavy bundles, running machines, off stacking and loading vans briefly. My son was one of my bosses and taught me everything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say she probably taught her son some things before he got his job, <laughs> All right? So she says, um, it was great, but uh, when he left the job, I had to walk to work and walk back home, about 20 to 30 minutes walk. The previous job was required me standing on concrete for at least eight hours a day and then with some overtime. There were mats, but my legs got worse. Yeah. Uh, these jobs were at least 20 to 22 years on concrete. That's a long time. <laughs> I quit working, others call it retirement, about two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I kind of quit working too, but um, that's another story. I thought, since I'm home most of the time, I no better time now than to work on my knees. All right, My knees were sore all the time. My left would lock up and then release, which was very painful. It was very difficult taking walks. I like walking. Along with the bad knees, I had problems with chest congestion. I went to the doctors because of this. They ran all the tests they had and never gave a reason for the congestion. The knees, I had three rounds of injections and a round of gel injections, but they didn't work. All right, so she's tried some things before the surgery. My doctor was a recommendation, and I like him and his staff a lot. My concern now is my surgical leg. The skin has been very dry and peeling, like after a sunburn. I put on lotion, but it isn't helping, and this has been going on for weeks. The surgery was February 1st, 2021, and the next day I went home. I used a cane for a while. I didn't have pain, and I kept waiting for medication to wear off so I'd be ready for it. You know, she's lucky she didn't have any pain. <laughs> a lot of us have pain. When I was young, I walked and I liked doing Richard Simmons exercises. I had three records I followed, so some of the exercises for the knees feel similar for me. Uh, Richard Simmons exercises, I remember those. <laughs> I never did them, <laughs> but I remember him on television. I'm sleeping well again. I, I can sleep on my side again. My extension is zero and my flexion is 112. My therapist got me to 120 once. I met my goals, but I feel like stairs and walking normally needs improvement. Yeah, stairs are tough for most people. I think going upstairs was easier for me. Going downstairs was tougher, but right now I can do both. So I, I'm not fast at it either. And I feel every step as I go up and down, All right. Okay, so she says, on Monday, which would be today, well, and actually, no, when this video comes out, it'll be Tuesday, so, which was yesterday for, for those who are watching as this comes out. She says, on Monday, I plan to ask or, uh, orthopedic doctor to do my other knee and want to ask for the same PT team. I think she's just as excited as I am to see how I do after surgery. Was it worth it? I'd say yes and excited for the other to be done. Okay, we'll hope that both knees go out just as well okay so the other one will go just as easy as this one uh, she has a question she says uh, did your viewers have other surgeries or broken bones i had two cesareans and broke a wrist around nine years ago my eldest son broke his wrist twice in the same place the doctor said he healed like a cat whatever that means <laughs> he's broken ribs dislocated fingers blown out knees he knows pain. I don't know why I had it easy with the pain and glad it worked out as well as it did. <laughs> well, good for her. So she's had good success with her knee and let's hope for good success for her next knee replacement when that time comes. So anyways, I'm sure she'll give me uh, updates uh, as to whether she was approved to go for a second knee replacement uh, so quickly because this, this is pretty fast. I mean, if she only did it in February, here it is in March. She's, she's really talking very short time. 
So <laughs> another one who wants to do two knees really quickly. So let's just hope that she does well on the second knee. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to be one of our knee patients, um, I'll leave my email address here again. It's contactrussisright at gmail.com. And that's all one word, contactrussisright. Do not send to russisright at gmail. <laughs> That goes to somebody else, all right? Somebody has that e email address. And that's why I had to make mine longer, and it's called contact Russ is right, all right, at gmail.com. And then uh, there's always a link in the uh, description section so you know exactly how to do the subs uh, submissions. Uh, I would need a photograph, a couple photographs of your knee. Uh, I need to know, you know where you're located, if you're in here in the States or wherever you are and then uh, your age and gender, okay? And give us some backgrounds. Give me some backgrounds on how you were doing, uh, what led you up to the knee replacement, how your knee replacement is doing, and then every now and then give me some updates to let me know how you're doing overall, okay? Anyways, I will talk to you guys next time.